Crowdsource geographic information is user-generated content contributed by a large number of volunteers. The collected geo datasets are a free alternative to commercial datasets and governmental agency data. Crowdsource geographic information is found and used in a wide range of disciplines including transportation, navigation, recreation, biology, wildlife ecology, natural resource management, and social science. This presentation provides an overview of crowdsourced geographic information and explains associated terminology. Crowdsourced geographic information falls under the umbrella of user-generated content. The content can be videos, blogs, discussion posts, images, or audio files that was created by end users of an online platform for sharing with other users. The term crowdsourced in crowdsourced geographic information implies the involvement of large numbers of people who contribute the content. The term geographic implies that the content has a spatial component. For example, geographic coordinates are attached to a photograph or the location of a wildfire can be extracted from a Twitter post. The image shows two photos taken at the same theme park with only a few years in between. By comparing the two images, the rise of mobile devices over a short period of time is clearly seen. Mobile devices with built-in positioning capabilities using satellite navigation systems or Wi-Fi are now ubiquitous. Users with smartphones and other devices collecting spatial data represent a network of human sensors distributed across the world. The resulting user contributions leads to large repositories of spatial data. The early World Wide Web was primarily one-directional. It allowed users to only view the contents of websites. The term Web 2.0 denotes a bi-directional collaboration in which users are able to interact with and provide information to central websites. Therefore, Web 2.0 denotes the wide range of innovative web applications that connect users with each other using data servers and online services. The applications allow users to create, store, share, and retrieve user-generated content, including crowdsourced geographic information. Examples of Web 2.0 features include social networking sites, video and photo sharing sites, online encyclopedias, and collaborative mapping platforms. A prominent example of a crowdsourced mapping platform is OpenStreetMap, or OSM for short. The OSM end product is a detailed map of the world, very similar to commercial maps from Google and Bing. Additionally, OSM data can be freely used without restrictions. Map data is collected by volunteers through systematic ground surveying using GPS handheld devices and digitizing map features from satellite images. This video highlights changes over selected time periods made to the OSM database around the world. The establishment of Web 2.0 has led to a plethora of web applications that facilitate the idea of crowdsourced geographic information. One group of applications supports active, deliberate data collection. This results in Volunteer Geographic Information, or VGI for short. For example, platforms that support active data collection are feature mapping platforms such as OSM, photo sharing applications such as Flickr, GPS-based sports apps such as Strava, and geographic citizen science projects. Citizen science describes scientific activities, such as collection and processing, that are carried out by non-professional scientists in the context of a specific scientific project. Examples include the mapping of bird or plant species, satellite and photograph classification by volunteers, the collection of weather, snow, and water quality data, and the reporting of hurricane damage. As shown on the right, the second group of platforms supports technologies that enable passive, sometimes unaware, data collection about a user's position or movement direction and speed. For instance, this is the case when anonymized signals of phones carried by car drivers are used to map out roads or pedestrian walkways to monitor traffic congestion or to determine user flows within a city. Search terms entered into internet search engines combined with the IP address of the user's device and therefore the server's location can be used to track current topics of interest around the globe and even the outbreak of diseases such as the flu. Also, 
Location-based social media, such as Twitter, Foursquare, and Yelp, provide access to extensive geographical data sets that have been generated by their users. On all these platforms, the user's actual intention is typically to communicate, navigate, or find a friend or a business. Therefore, the intent is not to add data to a map repository or maintain a spatial data set for their own geodemographic profiling by third parties. Thus, spatial information generated through these platforms and methods is often termed involuntary geographic information, or IVGI for short. This concludes the introduction to crowdsourced geographic information. The presentation defined terms used in connection with crowdsourced geographic information, including Web 2.0, volunteer geographic information, and involuntary geographic information. Multiple examples of crowdsourced geographic information provided context for this terminology.